But did you ever wonder why you get a brand new drone and a manufacturer says it's compliant with transmitting remote ID and you pull out your phone and you open up Open Drone ID, your free app, the FAA said you're gonna be able to see the drone with and you look and you don't see anything. So what's going on? Are they lying? Is it truly not transmitting? Well, on Three Minute Thursday today, we're gonna talk about it. So if you've ever watched this channel, you know that I am not a big fan of remote ID. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to make this video about a module that might help you see remote ID on drones, but I think it's really important to know that the technology exists whether you agree with it or like it or not. So like I alluded to in the intro, there are times when you might wanna see remote ID coming from a drone for some reason, whether it might be you wanna verify that your drone is working like it's supposed to be. Are you compliant or not according to the FAA? Or do you have a search and rescue? You wanna see are there other drones around looking for somebody that you don't wanna run into them and damage your equipment or, or hurt somebody? Or maybe fire and rescue. We've all heard the don't be that guy segment where somebody ran a drone into a scooper out in LA and maybe they should have looked ahead of time and see if there was drones with remote ID on and maybe that would have helped them avoid an accident. And our cell phones don't work. Let's face it, they just plain don't work. It's something to do with the way the Wi-Fi is transmitted and the signals, whatever it is, the technical reason really isn't that important. And I guess the iOS is even worse because they purposely defeated some of the things for safety reasons and privacy and, and whatever the reason and that's okay. But regardless of why, if you wanted to do that, there really wasn't a good way to do it. So there's a company called Bluemark and they've come up with a product called the Drone Scout Bridge. And it's this simple standalone little device like this that you plug into power using a, like a little power bank or something like that, or your phone, you can plug it right in the phone, USB-C and it turns on and it relays the signal from any drone that it can pick up and then it kind of reconfigures it and retransmits it in a way that your phone can pick up the signal now. And this is one of the modules, They're pretty much standalone. You plug it in and it works. There's a little electronics here in the end with a big antenna off the end. And then there's a couple smaller versions that are PCB versions. There's a DS100, which is the same thing, but it doesn't have the case. So if you want to build it into something or just save some money and just use it like this, you could. And again, it's still the same thing, USB-C. And then there's a DS101, which is a printed circuit board model just like it, but it has an integrated antenna. So you don't have to plug in some external thing dangling on there. It doesn't have quite the same range, but again, Still USB-C, so that'll even save you some more money. So how are we doing on time? And I had a really interesting use case that came out and it was perfect timing for me to get this to test this out because I had this Potensic Atom 2 drone that just came out and I'll put that link up here if you haven't seen it because it is a really dandy drone. And it's interesting because this drone is below 250 grams, but they have remote ID transmitting on it. I took the drone up and I flew it and I opened up Open Drone ID and I could not see the signal on it. But before I landed, I hooked up the drone scout bridge module and sure enough almost instantly open drone id showed me that there was a drone so then i knew that this drone is transmitting remote id all the time which as a part 107 pilot i really like that but, but that's not the point the point is i could not see the signal or even know when it was transmitting without using something like this drone scout bridge it has a pretty neat use case now this is a pretty cheap cool little device and it just it's simple it just plain works out of the box you turn it on you don't have to configure it or anything Thing. and it's only a hundred bucks so it's dirt cheap and the PCB models are even cheaper than that and of course I'll leave links in the description so you can go check those out if you want more information but of course I'm always interested in what you think as well so make sure you leave me your comments below I really appreciate it hope you learned something new till next time and next video good flying